on Fox tonight, bones fractured, face bruised. This Cape Cod DJ says he was just trying to help some women out when he was attacked by a group of men he says should know better. He says they're all cops. Fox 25's Jared Holbrook is live in Barnstable with the story tonight. Jared? Well, according to the man's attorney, the group of men responsible for the beating are either officers or agents attending a local law enforcement conference that happens once a year here on the Cape. We've learned the Federal Drug Enforcement Agency, the DEA, and the Barnstable Police Department are both investigating. A little shocked. Uh, Dwayne Alves tells us he was jumped by 8 to 12 guys, and he believes most or all are members of law enforcement. Show me your injuries here. Um, orbital bone right here is fractured in two places, and my um, sinus on the right side is fractured in two places. A couple chipped teeth and swelling and multiple abrasions all over my body. Dwayne was DJing at the Steakhouse Sports Bar in Hyannis. He says some non-uniform law enforcement officers or agents were drunk and disrespecting a group of women. When he said something, they jumped him. Uh, one guy was holding me down, stuck my head between his legs. It was just had me in a, a bear lock trying to squeeze his legs as hard as he could to get me down. And they were just kicking me, punching me. A few racial slurs were said. Dwayne says bouncers were trying to help, but the group was blocking them. They formed a field so the bouncers couldn't get to me to break it up. That was the first beating. Dwayne says things got worse when he later tried to leave. He says a group of about 30 officers blocked all the exits from the outside, and each time he tried to take one, they hit him. It's just shocking that the, it, it went on for so long. I was felt like I was basically trapped in a building by a bunch of uh, cops, basically. Dwayne and his attorney met with the Barnstable Police Department. According to Dwayne's lawyer, the group responsible are officers or agents attending an annual narcotics law enforcement convention in Hyannis. Fox 25 has discovered the conference is for the New England Narcotics Enforcement Officers Association. Dwayne says he still has trouble seeing out of his right eye, and he's shaken up knowing those men to protect and serve could be responsible. Who protects us from them? Now, Dwayne says one of the reason the group of men were blocking all of the exits were to get a cell phone that he got while he was getting beat down on the ground. He says one of the men responsible dropped a cell phone, he held it in his possession, and that's what they may have been after, and that's why they were blocking all of the exits. Well, that cell phone has been turned over to the Barnstable Police Department. We're live in Barnstable. I'm Jared Holbrook, Fox 25 News.